Hello in this video we will discuss about a neutrophil neutrophilic signaling pathway which that is expression role and regulation of neutrophil through fc gamma receptors so in this way the neutrophil is the part of the innate immune system it is a lymphocyte and it is basically contain three nucleus a smaller three nucleus net like structure so the neutrophil are best known for their critical role in host defense for which they utilize multiple innate immune mechanism in including the microbe associated pattern recognition uh, phagocytosis phagocytosis means the solid particle will move inside into the neutrophil and phagocytosis production of reactive oxygen species so this reactive oxygen species production and release of potent proteases mediators antimicrobial and uh, neutrophilic extracellular traps so in this way let's begin to understand with the overview and there we will discuss first of all of the types of the receptor so there are many types of receptor are present in the uh, which that is made, uh, made up of the fc portion receptor gamma fc gamma receptor so here i am drawing the neutrophil which that is the structure contain three nucleus so this is the nu neutrophil which contain the fc gamma receptor and the immunoglobulin are present here is the antibody when bind with the fc portion not sideways here bind with the uh, fc portion and after this here is you can see this is a diagram which that is showing the plasma membrane of the neutrophil contain that there are different receptor for example first is the fc gamma receptor 1 which that is a high affinity with a binding and contain the gamma 2 subunit and alpha 1 while the fc r 2a is low affinity to medium and alpha subunit while the fc r 2b is low to medium while it contain alpha subunit and fc r 2c is low and medium which that is contain alpha subunit and the gamma 2 alpha and one gamma subunit is known as the fcr receptor 2a is low to medium while the fc gamma uh, receptor 3b is low to medium affinity which is known as beta 2 and m and trim is the 21 uh, is known as the basically the unknown so here, let's begin here is the neutrophil which that is of opsonized antigen detects through fc portion via a FC, FC gamma receptor and in this way it will be engulfed and endocytose to neutralize and produce the interleukin 2, interleukin 6, tumor necrotic factor alpha, interferon gamma which that is used for the positive chemotactic movement of the macrophage for endocytosis of this neutrophil after the digested and neutralized uh, opsonized antigen will neutralization through macrophage for clear the infection of the pathogen so here is the neutrophil contain a plasma membrane let's begin to understand with uh, detail uh, with the pathway of the cellular pathway signaling pathway so here is the uh, fc gamma receptor one which that's contain high affinity so i am drawing here just so here is the b memory cell and here is the plasma cell which that after the stimulation of the adaptive immune response will collapse the antigen through antibodies known as the opsonization and this opsonized uh, antigen antigen containing agglutinated uh, antibodies which that is recognition by fc portion of the igg so this is a major igg uh, immunoglobulin and after the fc gamma receptor one which that bind and after the phosphorylation of the intracellular uh, intracellular domain to SYK activation and phosphoinositide 3 kinase and son of 7LS protein and RAS to RAF activation. So the RAS will activate the RAF. That's basically important thing you should need to understand. RAS will be GDP to activate the in the, in the form of GTP and RAF is the same mechanism. While the mitogen activated kinase, uh, so, sorry here is the MEC. This is the MAC is the GTP activation after this RAF activate and ARC will be activated. So the uh, 
activated receptor kinase which that is the gtp activation to activated receptor kinase in this way here is the elk1 gene necrotic factor kappa b gene ap1 and n fat gene and p38 and in this way this four type of gene will be activated through arc pathway by a phosphorylation to produce interleukin 2 interleukin 6 tumor ne necrotic factor alpha interferon gamma this all thing used for the recruitment of the macrophage. So here is the DNA. This is remember about in the nucleus. So this is the DNA, which that is used for the transcription to translate these genes and produce that protein in the form of interleukin as well as cytokines and inter uh, inflammatory mediators. So here is the cytoskeleton will be stimulated also through arc pathway and phagocytosis of the pathogen and this phagocytosis opsonized pathogen will move inside so again i am drawing here is the another is the fc gamma receptor one which that is uh, another portion in this way another portion it is me it means the dimeric subunit dimerized subunit which that is used for it and syk will be again recruit the uh, dock the phosphoinositol 3 kinase after the phosphorylation to activate to activate the phosphoinositol triphosphate to separate and here is the BTK is the another protein is also activate and this phos uh, PEEP3 will be activated through phospholipase C gamma will activate to IP3 pathway and diacylglycerol will be separate and after this the IP3 will be uh, separate and the rack will be active uh, activate through btk b um, bit kinase protein to activate rack and rack will activate after the phosphorylation to uh, gdp to gtp activation to rho and junk j and k remember about that and this is the n fat will be activated through junk while here is the rho is used for the cytoskeleton and phagocytosis activation in this way here is the reactive oxygen species will be produced also and in this way as you can see the cytoskeleton used for the endocytosis of these and this phagosome formation and lysosome will be bind and sorry mesosome will be bind and to form a lysosome phagolysosome formation because lysosome will be bind also and mesosome uh, sorry uh, lysosome formation and in this way this is the reactive not a mesosome but lysosome so here is the reactive oxygen species uh, will be stimulate and nitric oxide through a uh, arginine uh, uh, protein amino acid will stimulate and protea proteolytic enzyme and lysozyme digestive enzyme used for stimulation of the neutralization of this uh, phagosome after the hair is the endoplasmic reticulum ip3 sensitive calcium channel will bind with the ip3 to efflux of the calcium will stimulate the call modulin and this call modulin will is, is the sensitive and regulate the calcium in the cytoplasm while the protein kinase c is the another which that protein kinase c after the phosphorylation through calcium stimulation to stimulate the p38 this p38 here is you can see this will be stimulate again the ap1 and also produce an interleukin 2, interleukin 6, and tumor necrotic factor mixture. So I am not uh, uh, understanding you uh, separately but collectively. So remember just, just remember that inflammatory mediator will be produced and used for the recruitment of the macrophage. While on the other hand here the cytokines and on the other hand the a proliferation inducing ligands will be bind which that is produced from the cell here you can see. And in this way, the uh, April, it is the name you can see and understand the best uh, memorization. To naive B helper cell will bind to BAF. And this BAF is the B cell activating uh, activating factor which that is bind. And to so this B cell is BAF B cell activating uh, factor which that bind and the proliferation of the B cell also. But it is rare because the blood circulatory system contain only neutrophil, not B cell. So that is why. An important thing is that this is the neutrophil 
a signaling pathway expression role and regulation of neutrophil i hope you make sense and enjoy this video please subscribe my channel and watch another video related to the immunology so thanks for watching bye